What's up guys? This is Chris Arnett coming to you with my end of the year in the bag video. Um, I've actually got two bags here. Uh, one of them is my smaller bag that I'll be using for uh, more casual type rounds and rounds where I don't just don't want to carry as many discs. And it'll be one I'll be using more in the winter here with the colder conditions with the softer plastics and whatnot. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, we got these two Jawbreaker Banger GTs. Uh, they're pretty much matches, uh, interchangeable, and uh, just like them for putting with that groove top, nice groove top. And we've got a third one here that's a different color. It's pretty much the same thing. I might use this one more for uh, shorter tee shots. It's a little bit more beaten, and the, these ones are a little bit newer. So I got three all together. I've got two Jawbreaker roaches. I'll use these uh, also for um, uh, short tee shots. Uh, they're a little bit less stable than the Banger GT. Um, I just like them for nice straight short tee shots or uh, longer uh, fairway shots. And then you got two X plastic buzzes. Uh, you know the buzz, really good mid range. Everybody likes them. Uh, if you use these for tee shots, uh, longer fairway shots, kind of like the Roach, but a little bit longer. Um, pretty straight, stable. Then I got four heats. All in the X plastic, all different colors here. Um, just use these uh, for all different types of shots, hyzers and hyzers straight shots. It's a very versatile disc. Uh, it's a higher fairway, uh, slow distance driver, type speed. Um, yeah, they're just really versatile. You can use them for rollers, you can use them for hyzers and hyzers, whatever you want. Just kind of point and shoot. Kind of like the buzz and uh, at a higher speed. And then I got two X plastic nukes. So you can see all I really got is uh, Jawbreaker and X plastic. These are good plastics for the winter. Um, this is what I'd be using for my main distance driver for the longer shots. Uh, probably more open shots where there's not as many obstacles. Uh, want to get like a long uh, S-curve, just a long distance shot, uh, use the x new. So that's my smaller bag. And then for my bigger bag here I got um, my grip equipment bag. Uh, the ones I use for putting in that one are I got um, three jawbreaker focuses. Uh, I really like the color on these. You got two of them with a nice rainbow stamp. And then this one's got like a more silver stamp to it. Uh, pretty much the same color. Uh, you know, use these two. These two mainly for uh, just regular putting. Uh, some up shots for either one of them. Uh, a little bit newer so they haven't really been broken in yet. Um, I'll probably be using the one with the silver stamp for shorter drives. <clears throat> also for drives off the tee, I have a Thai Flex Challenger. This one's like a limited edition one uh, from Wedgestone. Um, so yeah, I'll be using this one for drives off the tee. 200 feet or less. Got two zones. Uh, got a Jawbreaker one and a Z-Flex. Uh, for nice overstable shorter shots, um, you know, I want to get around a corner and it's a shorter shot, I'll use the zone. Regular mid range shots, uh, I got a couple ESP Buzz GTs. Uh, yeah, these ones aren't as common, but I, I, as I like the Binger GT with the groove top, uh, 
these buzz GTs also have a groove top, so they're nice for mid-range shots like that, and uh, you know, basically like a buzz, just with the groove top on it. Then, also got a uh, Buzz OS phone, same type of buzz shot, just a more overstable shot, um, on a, more of a hyzer, or maybe a shorter flick sidearm shot, use the Buzz OS. Big Z. And I got uh, a couple stings, Big Z stings. Uh, these are more understable fairway drivers. So I like to use them for like hyzer flip fairway shots. Put them on hyzer, have it flip up the flat, and uh, have a little bit of churn. Uh, they're good understable fairways. Uh, Avenger SS, understable. Um, Distance driver. I use this one for longer anhyzer shots, uh, possibly some rollers. And very straight, really good distance driver, Undertaker. I actually only have one of these right now. I'd like to get some more at some point, but uh, the Z Undertaker, really good disc. I'd really recommend it. Then, probably my main distance driver for right now in my larger bag be the Big Z Vulture. Very, very good disc. Uh, straight with a little bit of fade. For me, be fading off to the right because I'm a left-handed player. Uh, mostly backhands. You could also use it for flicks. It's a versatile disc. Um, just really good, stable distance driver. About speed 10. Um, just really good distance driver. I got all different colors here. Really like these. Uh, big Z stamps, like the Sting and the Buzz OS and the Vulture. Like this one's really cool. It's got a rainbow stamp. More distance drivers. Uh, if I want to get a good S curve, uh, a little bit faster than the Vulture, I'll. Uh, I've got three different thrashers, Big Z thrashers. Um, I'm not use these for backhand rollers. I want a longer backhand roller. I'll use these. Um, good distance driver. Pretty popular. Uh, yeah, Big Z thrasher. Good disc. And one that's not really around anymore. I think it's out of production now. Uh, it's got a couple of these for utility shots. Maybe if I want to do a overhand or. A Probably uh, like a longer sidearm. I'll have a couple flashes. Uh, this one's, uh, they're both Z. And uh, yeah, mainly probably just sidearms. If I want to throw a sidearm, I might go with these or a vulture. Um, yeah, these ones are kind of just utility discs. So I'll use them just whenever I have a odd type of shot and I'll, I'll get around something. So. Uh, Yep, that's pretty much what I got in uh, both my bags. And uh, look forward to 2019 and uh, can't see, can't wait to see what uh, is ahead for the 2019 season. So uh, thanks for watching.